just chillin' with some bloodstone villains, oh yeah! demographics of the villains. What was it when you were growing up and what is it now? When I was growing up, it was 95% black and 5% Hispanic. Now it is 80% Hispanic and 20% black. Mexican gangs in y'all neighborhood now. Yeah, it's always been a Mexican gang. We got a little tagger, a little Mexican gang in our hood. Playboys coming from, uh, they used to be on 50, they started being on 56. You got the 38th streets and you got some other but see, that wasn't Spanish hoods. That wasn't our neighborhood. I, I, I'm talking about that, the, the Barrio Mojados. Yeah, they wasn't always over there. I'm just saying. Are you talking about BMS? BMS. They you gotta wasn't get, always. You got to get blindsided by their growth because it seems like reading the walls, you just think that that's BMS now. Mm. So I'm just saying, you got to get blindsided by their, their, their no, growth. No, they just write on them. No, not really because it's it's, it's a bunch of Hispanics. Right. I mean, you know, they kind of like stay over there and do what you do. So, so, so let me ask you this. Were, were your home, were your parents and your homeboys' parents, were you guys homeowners or renters? Back homeowners. Then? They was homeowners back then. So basically, you guys sold out. So a you lot got of to people sell, did. A lot of people moved. They did. They had to a lot keep of it one hundred. Yeah. Keep it one hundred. A lot of people, uh, their grandmother owned a house, and nobody taught them management skills or whatever. So when somebody died, they got that house and thought, okay, I'm going to. Borrow some money or, the, or sell it and move to Hearthstone. <laughs> Dummy. <laughs> so, no, back that was Hearthstone was like a hell of a spot then. And a lot of people had them big houses on the east side right now, them big lots. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Sold them for, little, for crumbs. And, you know, I could just, my, my personal story, personally, my auntie had our house. It was in her name. My grandmother died or whatever. No, she fucked it all. No, she that. fucked it off, and as soon as she fucked it off, my grandmother was in the hospital, so my other aunt bought it right back. Like I told you, they bought the house in 1971. She fucked it off in the 90s. Mm. So 20 years later, 20 some odd years later, she fucks off the house, and my other aunt buys it back in, what, 98. She bought the house back. Four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Same house is worth six hundred thousand dollars right now. I'm just about to ask you. Six hundred thousand dollars. Six hundred thousand. Those bottles, East Side, South Central. Big lots. Three yeah, bedroom house, yeah, house in the front. Two bedroom house in the back. He grew up in a big house. All the houses was like that. Every house on the block. I want to. I want to touch on something. You guys can go as deep as you want or cut it off. In the early '80s, your, your relationship with the Pebbles. I was, it was it was a good relationship. It was uh, we had a good relationship with the Pueblos. It was it was like we kicked it over there. They kicked it over here. You know we had our you know every hood that's tight had their ins and outs with the arguments. You know disagreements. You know what I'm saying? As far as the, the fighting and fuss and always getting mad at each other. You know because we was tight with them. We were tight with them, but we always argued with them here and there. You know, but that, that's how it was, though. But we, we was tight with them once once for the time in the 80s. When, when, when the crack era kicked off, were you guys allowed to have spots in each other's hoods back then? Or was that, was that, was that the line being drawn right no, there? No, we, we, we fucked with each other. We was in and out of each other's hoods. Like, you know. You the pebbles back then. A little bit, yeah. Oh, we, we was gang by him. We was gang by him. Hey, look, I came across an article. I don't know if they got it wrong or not, but there's a, there's a, big Cambodian population inside the Pebbles. And, and, and that article, I thought they got it wrong, but they, it was a big shootout. And they said it was between the villains and the Cambodians in the projects, 1988. I'm thinking they mixed up villain with, with Pebble Bishop. Are y'all familiar with this event? No, we, we never, uh, I never saw it. I don't think so. 
Are you, are you aware of that? Are you aware? I'm aware of the incident, but it really wasn't, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna lie, I was in jail, but the whole point of it is, it wasn't like that. When the Cambodians got moved in there, the Cambodians got placed in there by the federal government. They put them over there and they armed them. So when they came, Naturally, if anybody else comes into somebody else's neighborhood, then they have, what? who is you? What are you doing? And at the time, them Cambodian dudes didn't want nobody fucking with their daughters or whatever. So they was trying to put up some resistance. And it was like, well, fuck y'all. We'll shoot y'all up like we shot up everybody else. Do you remember what year the Cambodians landed in the Pueblos? And still they wind up with black babies. <laughs> exactly. I mean. When you were in junior high, high school, elementary school? Oh, no, 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 no. This was later on down the line? It, it was later on. I, 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 like I said, I didn't make it to high school. So a lot of the things that happened toward the late 80s. Why did you make it to high school? I went to jail. What so year? I went to jail in 1984. January 84. Well, how long did you do? I did from January 84 to 1990. Were you UBN? Bill? No, I was in Y. Okay. I was in Y. Did any of that ever... Uh, crossing to the villains, or did the villains ever accept that? Some did, some don't. But as a as a unit, we ain't fucking with that shit. Mm. Back to the Cambodians, real quick. You, you kind of shitting on them, but you know they claim for your animal boy and bloods, right? Okay, I'm not really shitting on them, but the whole point <laughs> of it is they can say that, but you know they like that was separate. You know what I'm saying? They was on that other side of Compton. We, you know, we kind of like, hey, I haven't had that over there. Whatever that is. Explain more the boundaries between Pueblos and Venice. Okay, Compton Avenue. That's the borderline. It's the borderline. So, uh, you know, but it's not, it's not all the ways because we had homies that lived on like 56 and Fortuna and all that other stuff. That's on the other side of Compton, but it's not in the projects. The project's neighborhood was kind of limited to the projects. So there wasn't no Pueblo Bishop living outside the projects? It probably was certain people, but you know, they hung in the projects. But as far as Kicking it outside of the projects in different spots? No, nah, that ain't what you do. I can't, you know, back then, no. They didn't have no spots where they kicked it outside of the projects. No. Nah. YA, 1984 to 1990. What, what, what YA did you get? Uh, I started out, I was young, I was in Nellis. I went from Nellis to Preston YTS. I was uh, I was not allowed to go to, I graduated high school in 85, 86. So I wasn't allowed to go to college because I, I was a minor, so I wasn't allowed to go to YTS because you had to be 18 or over. So at the time I was 16, so I couldn't go to, uh, I couldn't go to college and I couldn't, I couldn't do nothing. They had a Ventura school, which had a college in it, but uh, I actually had to go to full board. And uh, they asked me to say, uh, they asked me to say I was sorry for what I was in jail for. I'm like, if somebody trying to shoot me, why would I be sorry? Exactly. <laughs> so I'm like, I ain't tripping, whatever. 
And uh, I turned the 18 month sentence into six years. Mm. Was this a gang related shooting? Yeah. Was it a murder? No. Who were some of the people you was in there with that you remember? Ooh, I was in there with a lot of people. I mean, a whole lot of people. Give some good, solid names from different neighborhoods that still hold solid today. Well, see, that, that's, 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 uh, I know some solid cats that's still there. That, I mean, you know, uh, but it, I was there with everybody. Every, all the people who you would think of, uh, Doing the, that, era. that were in that era, that ended up going to jail, that were young, they was all there. All of the dudes from Kitchen, all the dudes from East Coast, uh, they would all, people don't, people act, people used to, well, first of all, I'm not finna speak ill on nobody that's passed away. I don't have nothing bad to say, but they would all went always from Main Street. East Coast. Exactly. So. When, and, you, when you met Mel, when you, when you met him, where was he from? From East Coast. Mm -hmm. So, it was a lot of different people back then you know, but these dudes, he wasn't no, he wasn't scary then. I ain't gonna call him a coward or nothing like that. But he, you know, different people had different alliances and they changed. Certain things changed. It was certain dudes, you know. Uh, I remember one of the first dudes that I met when I was in juvenile hall, and uh, a dude named uh, Ant Dog from 90. I was a little dude, and he used to tell me, man, don't be scared, man. You all right? You know what I'm saying? And I was small and skinny. I was like five foot one, five foot two, and I weighed 120 pounds. I'm surrounded by dudes that's 17, 18, got murder cases. And I'm like, wow, this shit is crazy. So it was a lot of dudes, probably they, they had mercy on me. I ain't gonna lie, because I was a little dude. And uh, you know, uh, I re those are the dudes who I remember and uh, I was in there with Big Rat from Hoover. I was in there with Big Rat and Little Rat. And, uh, but you know, then I had some of my homies was in there. And uh, you know, they was just like, just stay, you know, stay down. You know, one of my homeboys, I ain't gonna, one of my homeboys who did the most for me, one of the did the most things for me while I was in jail was uh, my homeboy Moonshine. Moonshine, he had been in Hawaii before me. So uh, when he came, we was in the reception together and went out on a visit. But when Moonshine came on the yard, when he walked the yard, everybody else was scared. Everybody else, because he was tall and he was a blood and everybody knew he was a blood. So he became my model. I said, I want people to say my name like they say Moonshine. Where is he from? From Fado's Villa. My own boy. Oh, let me ask you something since you mentioned his name. Another name pops up when, when, when Bill Baby Knot. Baby Knot. Yeah. Baby Knot. Why does his name pop up? Because time? Baby Knot was. Baby Knot was this. He did not tolerate no form of weakness. If he smelled any form of weakness in you, he would attack it. He did not tolerate it. Friend or foe. Friend or foe, didn't matter. He just didn't like weakness. So if you showed it, he didn't want you around. Uh, I'll give you an example. NY, he told the dude, hey man, I bet I can knock you out. And he was smiling. I bet I can knock you out. And the dude said, no, you can't knock me out. So he fired on him. But the reality was, this dude that went to a vet visit and got two packages. So he kind of wanted it. So now I'm a, you kind of soft. You ain't really nothing. I'm gonna figure out a way to take your stuff. So I'm gonna just take it like this by challenge you something simple. Hey, I bet I can do this. And you say, no, you can't. And okay, now I got a reason to do it. If, if, if you were still alive, how old would he be right now? 52, 52. Same age as me, 52. Can we speak on what happened to him? I was in jail. Yeah, we can speak on. We can speak uh, on what happened to him. He got shot. He got shot. And nobody knows who. When, when and where? He got shot in 1991. On 52nd. On 52nd. I asked him. And the circumstances of him getting shot is real, real particular. Blurry. Not not so much blurry. It's 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 uh. Put it like this, he didn't get shot by no gangbangers. Why? Because gangbangers, 
it was so many people around. If it was gangbangers, they would have they would have had they would have been on the news. They would have had a massacre. They it was a lot of people. They was getting ready to go to a party. And then the other part of it is some drug some smokers was like the car stopped and asked, "Is baby not down there?" So when the car stopped and asked, "Is baby not down there?" He's sitting in his car. He's sitting in his car. Now, if I'm sitting in the car like this, I got somebody talking to me right here on the front window, somebody talking to me on the back, and somebody in the passenger side waiting on me. And the car rolls up, shoots one time, and rolls off. There's people across the street on the house. They got guns and everything. Nobody actually knows what happens. Gang bangers are not marksmen. They, they don't shoot, come out the window, pop one time and drive. They don't do that. They don't know how to shoot like that. Gang bangers shoot until, boom, 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 until it's done and then they keep, keep it pushing. So that's my particular view on that. I don't see how, uh, you know, and then they got away fast and it was chased and got away. So they had to know some things and it just, just a, not a cool circumstance. And you know what year that happened? That happened in 91. You want to answer that too? Or that was good? Yeah, I, I was in jail that time. I had just finished talking to him on the phone when I was in the feds. That was my, uh, that was my road dog. We slept in the same bed together. He used to catch the bus with me to my house on the west side. That was my guy. I love him. Rest in peace. That was my dude. He was one of the real ones from the hood. Character-wise, was he a Debo type? Is that is that is that how we can describe him? Yeah, yeah, no, no, I was one. Well, of no, no, no. He, he he was one of them. Yeah, like like he said, you know that. He just everybody didn't like had weakness. Every, everybody had homies like that. No, what people don't understand about him, and I just want to make the record it's like he was a good dude. He just didn't tolerate weakness. You couldn't be weak around him. If you wasn't weak around him, like okay, I'm gonna tell you this. Not did not appreciate nobody from 56th Street. He thought villains should be all 52nd Street, period. <laughs> no, we all nothing. got homies like that. So, yeah, exactly. in his line, in his mind, he would say, anybody that's from 56th Street, you're going to have to turn dukes, man. I ain't, I ain't fucking with you like that. So, I was in Y with him. Don't even come at me. And truthfully, none never came at me with that. None of the times because he knew that man, this dude ain't finna, you know what I'm saying? He didn't detect no weakness. And I can name me and three more of my homeboys that he didn't fuck with. But I can name a five or six, seven, eight other my homeboys that at some <laughs> point, <laughs> where you from, homie? You get a letter. Oh, I'm from the deuce now. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> You got me wondering about Big Knot and Lil Knot. Were they beasts too? I ain't no Lil Knot. I ain't no Lil Knot. Who is Lil Knot? I was just thinking Big Lil Baby. Nah, mm -hmm. nah, no, like I was a Lil Knot. No, see, like certain names, certain names name. had Baby in front of it. Baby Jeff. There's no Big Jeff. It's just Baby Jeff. Gosh. Yeah. Baby, Baby J. Ain't also, no certain big. names can't just, anybody can't just claim. No. Exactly. No. Right. No, they can't. Thank you.